Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn how you can get the selected value of a radio button using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. I have the script file here. That is script.js. We need one container. And it will have a couple of input elements. Oh, remove this part, we don't need this. And create a couple of input elements. Give the name username, we don't need ID. And here you can put Peter. And we also need value attribute. Now just copy this, paste it three times. Here make it marks. Here make it James and here make it Mary. Same goes here, marks, James and Mary. We need one button here, it will be show. We need one h1 element and text will be result. So basically on click of this button will show the value inside this h1 element. Save it, open the style sheet, select the container. So it will be display inline block. Also select the body element. Text align will be center. Select the button. The display will be block and margin will be 20 pixels auto. I'll just save this, open this file in the browser and this is the output. Now let's start working on the script file. Select the button, so it will be document.query selector button. Also select the h1 element and we will make it result. Add event listener to the button and event will be click. This will be the handler function. To get the value of a selected radio button, we'll make use of a query selector. So let's make it selected document.query selector and we'll pass the selector here. The selector will be input. Type should be radio and it should be checked. And we'll set the inner text of the H1 element and it will be selected dot value. Save it. Go to browser. Select the radio button and this is the output. If you want to get the actual text, in that case you have to select the parent element which is label in this case. So here make use of parent element then text content. That's it. Now just save it. Select and this is the output. You can try with the Mary also and this is working. So the only piece of code that is very very important in this case that is this selector. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.